Okay, so now let's get a little bit of movement done to get across the concept of keyframes and how they work in Maya. So make sure your playhead is on frame one and make sure you click on the sun, make sure that that is selected. So there we go, I've got my sun selected. And then what I want to do is make sure that all of its rotation values are set to zero. So X, Y, and Z are all set to zero, which they are. If they're not in your project, change them to make sure that they are. What we'll do next is change the menu set. By default, your menu set will probably be on modeling. What we need to do is change it to animation for what we're gonna to do today. And you'll see that these menus across the top, go away grease pencil. And you'll see that these settings across the top change and most important for, for what we need now is this one here, key. So what we're gonna do is with the sun selected and making sure we're on frame one, we're gonna to go to key, set key. Keep an eye on what happens on screen when you do this. Okay, did you spot what changed? There were two things on my screen that changed. The first is this little chappy down here. You can see that there's a nice red line and that indicates that a keyframe has been set on frame one. We've also got all these things here have gone red. And again, this indicates that a keyframe has been set on all of these and these are called channels within Maya. So on all of the translate, rotate, scale and the visibility channels, a keyframe's now been set. The way that the timeline works in Maya is that if I deselect the sun, you'll see that that keyframe goes. Because what Maya does is it gives each object, each asset within your scene, its own timeline. So in order to see the keyframes on a particular asset, you need to click on that. So when I click back on the sun, I can see that keyframe again. So if you ever think you've done lots of animation and all of a sudden all your keyframes have gone, just check whether or not you've actually got the object selected uh, because it's a mistake a lot of newbies make. So keep that one in mind. It might be useful. It might save you, like, might save your life. Probably not. Okay, so the way animation works in Maya is that you need two or more keyframes to create a movement. So we've got one keyframe here. We're going to set another keyframe at frame 100. So to do that, I'm just going to type 100 in this box here. And that'll just allow me to see all the way up to frame 100. And I'm going to move my playhead onto frame 100. And what I want to do is rotate it once on the y-axis. So it goes all the way around and back to the position it starts in. So to do that, I'll type 360 in the rotate Y field. You won't see anything happen because it's going back to the same position, but it has worked. And once that's done, the next thing we need to do is set a key. Now we did that from the key menu last time, but the keyboard shortcut for that to set a key on everything is S. So we'll press S on the keyboard and you'll see that a key has been set. They've all gone dark red again. And there is um, another red tick on frame 100 so we've now got one here and one here. So we can play that and see how it looks. So let's hit the play button and there it goes. Now at this stage, you're probably gonna notice a few things. The first thing you should notice is that it's playing really, really quickly. So we've done 100 frames and I'm operating at 24 frames per second. So that should be taking about four seconds to go around. It's going much quicker than that. And that's because of the playback speed which will fix in a second. The other thing you should notice is that the animation starts off slowly and ends slowly and that's to do with the tangents and we'll have a look at that in a moment too. And the third thing you should notice is that the animation appears to be looping and that's because the playhead is going around the same 100 frames over and over. So it's not actually looping uh, but it's playing the same part of the animation over and over. So let's press stop I'm just going to go back to frame one. And what we're going to fix now is this playback speed issue because we don't need that. So the reason that's happening is because Maya is just trying to play every frame as quickly as it can. So if you've got a really good PC, then it's just going to kind of be showing off and say, look how quick I can play things. Uh, and no one likes to show off. So let's, let's cut it down to size, make sure everything's uh, playing properly. So to get to the animation settings, you can get to it from the Windows settings preferences preferences. But we're not going to do it that way. We're going to get it from down here, which is this little red guy who's running away from a gear, obviously. So we'll give that a click, and this will open up the time slider preferences. And you can see that the playback speed is play every frame. That is very useful if you're doing things like dynamic simulations, but for just kind of straight animation, it's not that useful. Uh, and what we really need to change, though, is this max playback speed, which at the moment is set to free, which is kind of us saying 
play as fast as you can. Uh, but to change that, we're going to click on this and set it to real time, which will be 24 frames per second. You can see there are a couple of other options. You can do it at half speed or twice speed. But both of those, I'm sure they are useful. They're not useful to us. So it will have uh, real time 24 frames per second. And then if we click on save and press play, now things are moving at a more believable pace. This is how it should be. And this is the kind of speed that we're working with. 